some work about them, we saw the internal elastic membrane. Alright, this one doesn't have any Vasophosaurum. Uh, okay? <coughs> I'm just going to look and see if we see a little more here. Let me look here. Alright, so in the exam, many times in the exam we're asked to identify the internal elastic membrane. Okay? And I would say this is a classic thing to encounter in an exam. A picture looking somewhat like this. So you're going into the exam and we're asking you, and you see, this is what you see many times looking down the slide, just like that. Okay? So there. Alright? So you have to create these pictures in your mind. Alright? That's an elastic artery. Okay? Um, and it asks a number of little questions about it. Now, let's see if I can just pick up another one. Um, here is one that is just stained um, with what's called Verhoff's elastic stain. This is just to show, you know, the elastic tissue component. Okay. So what we have done basically is that we have just stained this tissue pure, purely, the arch has been stained purely to show the elastic fiber component. Okay. So it's not picking up any of the muscle, etc. So this is not staining any muscle. This is a silver-based stain, and the elastic fibers are agarophilic. They have a high affinity for silver, so a silver nitrate type stain. And we immerse the aorta in that, and what you're seeing there is purely just elastic fibers. So you couldn't see this in the other artery because it was masked by the hematoxylin and eosin. Alright? So there we see the same aorta. This is basically the exact aorta that we are looking at, but all we are now uh, picking up is what? The elastic tissue component. Alright? And there you can see that this elastic tissue con component is considerable. Is that right there? There you can see there. And see the wavy nature? The wavy nature of the elastic fibers. But strangely also it's staining what? The endothelium. Alright? Very strange. Very strange. But the endothelium is also being stained here. Alright? That's a bit unusual. And um, very unusual. And uh, that the endothelium is staining. And you can see what? The sub-endothelial layer. So that layer right there is the sub-endothelial layer. And the first Ah, membrane that we're encountering, that's your internal elastic membrane. So this big one here, that would be your internal elastic membrane. And that is your subendothelial layer, right here. Okay, and uh, we move on. Let me just pick up another one. Just another one, and just see. This is the aorta. The subendothelial layer isn't very, very well developed in this one. Okay. All right. This is a little tricky one in terms of the exam. <coughs> this exam. Okay. So I'm trying to expose you to different slides. All right. Trying to expose you to different slides. Yes. The so when the serial layer is there, yes. Um, what I notice, the internal elastic membrane is not very prominent. It's around there, but not very, very prominent. Um, <coughs> but I want to point out to you that this is an elastic artery. Alright? So there you can compare that. So I brought about four or five different slides of the aorta. Yeah. Okay? 
So this is giving you a slightly different picture of what is diagnostic. What's diagnostic when you go into the exam? Because you're going to ask you, you want to state precisely, is it a muscular artery or is it an elastic artery? And what you're seeing that's going to tell you that this is an elastic artery is that there are many of these what? Elastic membranes. Alright? You see a lot of elastic fibers here. Alright? But the muscle, the tunica media in terms of the muscle, the muscle component is not very well developed. This is in a cat. The muscle the component is not very well developed, but what predominates here is a lot of elastic tissue. Alright? Lots of elastic. Hmm? Very wavy. Very, very, very wavy here. Alright? Very wavy. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Let us um, let me look at one last so what I want to show you is see if we can walk up now uh, medium size. Let me look at this one more. Right? Just this last one here. Let's go. Put your book on it. Okay, that's another A right here. Really? Those are pretty. Just a vein. So this is the inferior vena cava right here. That's the large inferior vena cava. You can see the, the great difference between the vein, that's the IBC, and this is the aorta right here. All right? That's the inferior vena cava. And this will have no internal elastic membrane. There is no internal elastic membrane, no external elastic membrane at all. Alright, so you can see how delicate the vein is compared to the wall of the artery. The wall of the artery is very robust. Um, see that? So that's the, the vein there, and the tunica medium. But one thing that is happening is that this vein is not very well preserved. So I won't even spend too much time with it. I'll try to find out a better one for you. But let me look at the artery. Alright, let's look at this artery right here. That vein is really um, a lot of autolysis has occurred in that vein. Alright. So this is another elastic action for you. Right. So I'm trying to show you different elastic arteries. The internal elastic membrane we see there, very prominent. Okay, that's the internal elastic membrane. But this aorta, you can see, is quite different. Each aorta that we look at is quite a bit different to each other. But what really, really sort of defines it are the elastic fibers, as you can see in all of them. The endothelial cells are not well shown on this slide. All right, not well shown. No, I'm going in search now of a. Um, a medium sized vessel, for example, one of the branches of the just a normal little artery. And let me look in the tongue. No. I need to borrow a couple slides of the tongue. So can you just um, let me see three slides of the tongue and just put your initials on it. Alright? So three slides of the tongue.